Hello and welcome back to the lab. Today on the bench, following viewer comments on a previous video, we're taking a look at the again at this uh, 6024, specifically the meter. So we're you guys are actually joining me mid repair. I've pulled out the control board here again and got the meters free. These meters are a little funny because they actually mount to this board and they have this press fit um, bracket that holds the meter in. You put the meter through the hole and then you just, it even says press on the plastic. This presses down over top and it holds the meter into this PCB and that's what holds it up front. So this really is a very strange mounting situation with the circular hole with LEDs that we need for the front control panel the square block for the meter, getting a non-standard meter to fit in that hole without major modification, not that we haven't done major modification on this unit already, would be quite the mechanical challenge. However, a lot of people wanted me to take a closer look at this meter movement and see what was going on with it. And it turns out, looks like they might be right. Should have taken a closer look at the meter movement. So, move all this stuff out of the way. Yeah, there's the meter face. Meter face is protected up here. Here is the meter movement. And we're going to zoom in on this thing. We have a 2200 microfarad 50 volt capacitor for reference. So we are quite zoomed in on this meter. This is incredibly small work. But the movement is powered from these two screws. So from here to here, the movement should move, and it doesn't. Essentially what happens is current comes in on these two bolts, comes down through these armatures into the meter movement. If I go from here to here, nothing happens, and we have no current. It's open circuit. If I go from here to here, the meter moves. So what we have, we have a bonding wire problem from this armature into the copper ring for the meter movement. So what we've got to do is we've got to get, get a connection from here to here without it uh, destroying the meter movement. So let's see if we can't make that happen. Well, fixing that was far, far easier than it could have been. So, what I did, this armature right here is part of the meter's mechanical centering. And this unit needs to ride on this carriage to center the needle on the meter. Essentially, when the meter's off, we put this at zero with the screw that's in the front of the meter here. And that's what mechanically zeroes out the meter. Putting a little bit of deoxit underneath here got the connection back. And if I touch these bolts now, meter moves. So this meter is actually repaired and was repaired with a little bit of deoxit. So for all those that said, hey, check the mirror or check the meter again, you guys were right, and I don't need spare parts. So we're going to get this thing thrown back together and uh, give it some burn-in testing, and then we'll go through an alignment. Bump the exposure down and let it focus. Here's what we mean by mechanical zero. So you see how the needle's poking a little bit further off the side? When I get it back in the case, we'll adjust this control, and that'll bring that up to zero, and that'll mechanically zero the meter for us. Okay, our control board's back in. None of the covers are on, but we have voltage meter. So our meter's back up and running, which means I got to doodle up these pots up on top. Uh, these are going to be the calibration points and adjustments for this particular power supply. So we'll pull up some, we'll give it some, well, I will put the frames and stuff back on, put it all back together. Then we will 
check the service documentation, get it ready to go, and do an alignment on this particular unit, and it'll be ready for the bench. All right, so we're dumping 12 volts at 10 amps into my electronic load. Yes, those leads are a little light for 10 amps, but we're only doing 120 watts. And the power supply is sustaining 121, 120 watt output. Uh, at 10 amps, if I put my hand on top of the box, I can feel the power transformer vibrating. Uh, it's buzzing quite a bit under the stress, but it's hanging in there. So everything's going really well. Just going to let this do some burn-in testing, then we may be done. So these uh, test leads are kind of warm after what we've been having this thing do. Uh, 12 volts at 10 amps, and we've been dumping 12 volts through 10 amps through these test leads for a couple of hours now into the load. And making a, gen making a bit of heat, but it's cold outside, so it's just helping keep the place warm. To take a look at the load, uh, obviously the power supply is good. If we go into current limit mode, just turn this down, we'll see the voltage falls, and it agrees with the load. And we go into current limit, kick it back on, and we're back up. So everything is working with current limit. Voltage regulation is working as, a, as expected. Taking a look at the load, 12 volts out at 10 amps, and actually this doesn't need an alignment or a calibration. Those alignment points were actually bias supplies in there, so everything is reading correctly. The meter agrees with my DMM. The amp meter agrees with my load to four digits, so more than happy with that on an analog meter. So everything is good to go. So thanks again to everybody in the comments for telling me to, hey, check it again because uh, we now have a fully functioning supply and everything is ready to go. As always, I read all the comments in between all the videos, and I look forward to talking with everybody in between video releases. Thanks again to the patrons who support the channel. Their help helps keep the lights on here in the lab and videos coming to YouTube. If you'd like to check out a little bit more content, take a look at the Patreon page. They're running ahead on YouTube releases. Everything will eventually hit YouTube, but for right now, they're sitting a little bit ahead. And hit all the YouTube buttons, subscribe, bell, and like. Let me know how we're doing. I will see everybody in the comments. As always, more is on the way, and I'll see everybody in the next video.